Welcome fellow car enthusiasts. Today we're going to be talking about the differences of direct injection and port fuel injection. My name's JD. I'm Eric. And this is Gridline Go. So we're going to touch on a couple points here between direct injection and port fuel injection. We're going to hit the pros and we're going to hit the cons. Pros of direct injection uh, you're gonna get better MPG just right off the bat. Yeah um, That is due to the fact that uh, The fuel is getting directed straight into that chamber and it's gonna get atomized much much better uh, On top of that because it's being sh Injected straight into the chamber uh, Direct injection. It's right. There. It's right there. It's right there. You get better power uh, Immediately and if we're talking better MPG and better power that's gonna be more desirable for the consumer Obviously, yes. it's yes. a win-win um, but due to the fact that it's directly injected into the chamber, you're gonna have a little bit of an issue with cleaning the back of your valves. Those valves are gonna get really carboned up. Uh, normally, especially if you have a turbocharged car, due to the fact that it has a lot of blow-by and oil in that intake now, and that oil and carbon makes really nice sludgy stuff on the back of your intake. It'll fall up your pretty good. It'll valves. be sitting back there. Um, and that actually restricts the proper flow of the air going into yes. the chamber and you get some weird turbulence and stuff and then you just start it's losing right. your efficiency and your MPG in which you initially had. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and another con on top of that would be that it is very expensive to have those direct injection systems due to the fact that they are very expensive materials um, having expensive things gets really expensive, maintenance, repairs, mm -hmm. all that, uh, and it's going to be a very helpful tip to do regular cleaning of your intake valves through, um, believe it or not, flooring it when you're getting out of the freeway really, really helps out. Uh, heavy acceleration. Heavy acceleration. Uh, you could say the same thing about turbo diesels and diesels really get gunked up with carbon and the best way to eliminate some of that is simply by putting your foot down while you're getting on the freeway or something do it maybe once a week safely I'm not saying be erratic about it up to the speed limit zero to 65 that's fine on the freeway um, but that's one of the cheapest I would say ways to have that carbon get eliminated um, or normally have your intakes cleaned out with any type of cleaner. They have valve cleaners that go that get shot directly into the intake manifold that help out cleaning those valves and you get a nice puffy cloud <laughs> out the yes. tailpipe, which you know tells you, yo, I got some of that carbon, don't worry about it. Well, port fuel injection is kind of different. Instead of the fuel getting directed into the combustion chamber, it's actually getting directed at the back of the valve. So it's injected behind the valve, not in the combustion chamber, um, thus giving you a cleaner valve train. It is, instead of doing the carbon treatment or carbon cleaning or intake cleaning that he was talking about, um, it's kind of doing it the whole time and it, it keeps those valves a lot cleaner. Second thing, it's, it's a little bit cheaper maintenance. If you have an issue with that system, let's say you have an injector go out, the injector is a lot cheaper. That, that component right there, which is kind of the soul of it, I mean, we're talking injectors here, whether direct or port, um, that component is a lot cheaper in and of itself and maintenance is going to be cheaper on that as well because you're not going to have to pay for your decarbonization or your intake cleaning or any of that stuff because it does kind of take care of it. And it's just not needed at that point. And it's just not needed. Cons. Cons on port fuel injection. What do you think? What do you think about cons? I kind of can't think of any. Less power? <laughs> yeah, I mean. I mean, that's really kind of it. But you kind of make up for it. in the DI, you know? But you kind of make up for it in that's other it. places. Yeah, it's, because. It's, uh, honestly, I, I can't I can't really think of any real cons. Maybe fuel economy? But that's just the pro of direct injection. See, we can't just kind of call the pros of direct injection the cons of port fuel injection, because they're not. They're that's just it. the. Yeah, yeah so. I mean, really, I, I kind of... I'm, I'm pro port fuel injection. Me too. I'm port, port, <laughs> port fuel injection all the way. I mean, I have, I've got a Focus with 140,000 miles on it, and I pulled that intake manifold off, and it, it was... It was thick and span. Pristine. Super nice, clean. That was clean. No big issues. I've seen uh, direct injection cars with 
15 to 20,000 miles on them, and they are all gunked up in, bad. behind the valves. And it's t- totally typical. Normal. Um, That's normal for them. So direct injection, typically you're going to have to do more intake cleaning. Um, components are a little bit more expensive. Components are more expensive. You're going to use those fuel additives uh-huh. uh, to help decarbonize some of that. Um, and then for port fuel injection, you're going to typically have uh, no maintenance. Uh, you're <laughs> just gonna when you car. have an injector, just run the car. Injector. Um, well. The best maintenance you can do is run good fuel. That's yes, it. And give, you know, a low grade fuel to the high grade fuel. You're gonna typically want to run that higher grade fuel just to help. And that's and that's that Everything goes without the back of those valves. That goes without saying. That's kind of like through everything you want to be running the higher, the higher uh, quality, not octane, but quality. higher quality fuel. Yeah. We're yes. not talking octane. We're talking quality. We're talking quality. Um, yeah, you might have a few extra dollars, you know, at the end of the tank that you just filled up, but it's worth it in the long run. You're really gonna be worth it in the long run, and you're not gonna have those, you know, when you're when you have those direct injection. Looking at better, you know, the, the more expensive fuel, the car may actually just run better. However, it's not gonna clean the back of your intake valves like some of those, like like some of the uh, ads and commercials. Like they actually promote they, it. They say, yeah, they say that they have all these crazy cool additives and it keeps that our intake, intake valves. And valves that, up. It's not going to clean your intake valve if <laughs> with you the have direct injection. <laughs> that only pertains to port fuel injection, carbureted, and TVI type stuff, uh, where the fuel is passing the actual valve itself. So if you guys like this video, let us know. Like it, dislike it, dislike it, like it, whichever your preference whichever is. Whichever you like. If you have or something. Dislike. If you have something helpful to say or something snotty to say, let us know in the comments. comments down there. That's what it's there for. Subscribe. Um, if you really liked it, please subscribe. Even if you didn't, just subscribe. Hit that button. Please subscribe. <laughs> it's really, really helpful. It's a we it's a really appreciate it. Uh, much appreciated if you guys subscribe. Subscribing really helps out to us. Uh, we are coming out with videos weekly. Every week. Every week. So mm-hmm. if you guys end up hitting that notification bell down there, we'll let you know. Ding a ling a ling. It rings says, yo, hey, 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 hey cook it your weekly dose, dose of Gridline Go. Who was oh, that? That was nailed. Oh, <laughs> so bad. That last part was horrible, but we're so good. Anyways, like it, subscribe, please tell your friends, coworkers, enemies, frenemies, anyone. Uh, yep. We're kind of looking out. We're getting up there. Uh, please, 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 please.